I think I think one of the important things to think about, you know, is is you know back then in 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 '61, you know, with, with Freedom Ride '64, with Freedom Summer, you know, there were clear goals, and it was it, it was a bit simpler, you know, yeah. Freedom Rides, we want to ride on anywhere we want on the bus, you know, um, Freedom Summer, we want the right to vote, but there were clear goals, and I think that's in some ways what's lacking today, <laughs> and that's why we have these eruptions, we have Occupy Wall Street, and we're like, yeah, and then it, f you know, it just fizzles. Because there, we don't have the clear goals, um, and and also I think that one thing that people don't talk about enough is that the people who are who are part of the civil rights movement, many of them, were 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 trained and committed, you know, and they were. It was not an eruption. It was this was a, it, the thing was planned. You know, Bob Moses was in Mississippi for, from 1961 right, until yeah. 64 before you know, Freedom Summer started. You know, uh, uh, Jim Lawson went all over the South training people in, in, in civil disobedience. So they were trained, and, and I think that's one of the things. I mean, we, there are, we are starting to see trained leaders, okay. you know, of what's happening, what's going on today. And young but I, people. Yeah, young, young trained leaders. I'm talking about young people, mm -hmm. you know, but I, what I want to see is more of them on TV.